Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Looking like it's going to be a little intimate crowd tonight's show. We're glad you're all here. I'm Mike Finkel. I'm the artistic director for the Dallas Jazz Piano Society, and we are proud to present Thiago Plays It All, also alternatively called From Scriabin to Scritty Politi. He's going to play a little bit of everything tonight. Has anyone seen him play before live? Couple, three, okay, good. It's gonna be a great program. We talked about last month, these shows are not set to be just one form of jazz. Jazz can be a lot of different things. Last month we had hip hop meets jazz and we had young lady rapping over all of me and Miles Davis tunes, the first concert in the series. We had Joe McBride playing jazz versions of Cameo and Prince tunes. So trying to present on this series a lot of the wide world of what jazz is and what it can be beyond just straight traditional jazz that you may hear anywhere, trying to present all of the different forms of jazz. So I will turn it over to our performer for the show tonight. Hello everyone, thank you all for joining us tonight. Thank you to Kwai and Jazz, uh, uh, Jazz, what was it, Jazz Piano Society? I always get the words mixed up. That. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Um, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, so as he said, uh, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be a variety show of sorts. Uh, so I'm a classically trained pianist, um, so I play a lot of classical music, but I, I play a little bit of everything throughout my career. Literally, he said Scriabin, but I'm not going to play Scriabin. No Scriabin tonight. Um, I have done Scarlatti. That would fit with too. It would have. It just, almost just the same. <laughs> Way harder, Scriabin. So I'm going to go through a slew of different uh, different styles. I'm going to start with some classical just to warm up my fingers and your listening ears. And I'm going to go through a whole bunch of different stuff that I'll explain as we go. So um, I hope you enjoy.
Can you hear me now? <gasps> so what do you think? Not, not, it's a cute little piece, right? So I didn't want to explain too much of it before I played it. I wanted you to just get the whole experience of the piece. But so this idea is classic. So again, with jazz, at least the way I see it, it's sort of a musical conversation. There's characters, you know, that's sort of my definition for it. It can be described in different ways. 
But this, this idea stemmed from, or this piece, me notating it, stemmed from what I just mentioned about Chopin, Brahms. There are so many little themes that I had played, played around with from literally me just doing something as simple as this. That all those were different ideas that I put together and created a piece, but I was improvising. I'll wake up in the morning, I'll have a cup of coffee, and I'll just play, which I'll be doing some here in a minute, literally live right in front of you guys. Um, so yeah, that's, this is to me, it's, it doesn't sound like jazz, do you think, is that jazz? But to me, it's a, it's a form of jazz. So I'm gonna finish up this little set with uh, one of my favorite pieces by Chopin. Um, the way he wrote his waltzes also were very, he was very improvisational, but this is a Chopin's uh, waltz in A-flat.
Thank you. As I catch my breath. <laughs> Streaming for the show, which all of our concerts from this season, past few seasons, are archived on the Dallas Jazz Piano Society YouTube page. So some people are watching this live there. If you enjoy this concert, I don't know how you couldn't, but in future days you could come back and watch this again on our YouTube page and see past concerts. The streaming for all of these shows is funded by the John and Bonnie Strauss Foundation. The more important part, I didn't say at the beginning, is these concerts are free, but Judy is sitting in the back and would be glad to take any donations of cash, candy, barter system, whatever you choose. After the concert, you can talk to her, or even if you'd like to sponsor a concert, she can talk with you about that. And that funds this young man being here today. Thanks. Thank you, Mike. <clears throat> so, given that it is a jazz piano society event, uh, I thought I'd play some jazz, you know, just whatever, you know. Um, but I thought I'd make it even more unique in that I am myself Brazilian. Uh, I know you can't, you can tell with a thick accent that I have. I don't have an accent. Some people are trying to listen for it now. So um, I'm gonna play a little set of Brazilian uh, Latin jazz, uh, bossa nova, samba sort of pieces. So this first one is by uh, Carlos Jobim. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. Um, so this is a piece called Agua de Bebe. Thank you. 
So that was one called Chega de Saudade. I don't know how to translate that. I'm tired of being sad? I'm Brazilian, I can't even translate it. Uh, the next one, I think you'll just know, almost probably immediately, as soon as I start it. What's it called? That's it. That's what it's called. You tell us I can't think of it. That's the name of the title. Very good. <laughs> that's The Girl from Ipanema. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise known as the song in every elevator ever. <laughs> so last one I want to play for a little <clears throat> Brazilian jazz set is a little medley between um, a piece called Tico Tico. Oh, good. Of course people would know. Uh, it's my own little version uh, mixed with uh, Brazil, the song Brazil, but I guess also the country because it's in there. So yeah. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm going to slow it down a little bit now so I can, so I can cool off just a little bit. But uh, So now I'm just going to improvise a little bit on some, um, some jazz standards. Um, I'm sure you guys will know these. I'm going to start with a piece called, what am I, it's, it's such a beautiful piece, especially to play around with. It's a piece called Misty. Thank you. 
So I played first Misty, just so you guys, if anybody's taking notes, there may be a test later. Um, and then I played L-O-V-E, I'm sure you guys caught that. Uh, and I finished with a medley of Le'Veon Rose and When You're Smiling, I think is what, is that what it's called? When you're smiling. So now I want to go back, uh, relax just a little bit. Um, I want to play some popular um, favorite classical pieces that everyone loves. Um, and I told myself next time I played anything solo, I would include these pieces. So uh, I'm going to play uh, three, two pieces by Claude Debussy. And I, I know for sure you're going to recognize one of them. And one by Johannes Brahms that is just one of the most gorgeous pieces. And again, the way Debussy wrote, it's very improvisational. It's almost, he, I don't know how he wrote it down because it, it, it sounds so in, like made up within the moment. And uh, same with Brahms, and it, the way he writes music is, again, very improvisational. It, you almost never know where the lines are going to go. So uh, these first two pieces, uh, this first piece is an arabesque by WC.
Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it takes my breath away. Uh, this next piece is um, an inner mezzo by Brahms, and I picked this one, A, because it's literally one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever heard, uh, but it's also an intermezzo. So um, the original intermezzo is like intermission, was meant to be, I think if I'm correct, improvised by the, the live musician in between <laughs> concert settings or a show or something. So this is technically a concert intermezzo, but it's still, it's an intermezzo, so this is very, it's very free in its phrasing and musicality, and it's also just really beautiful.
Okay, now it's your turn. Come on up. Just kidding. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is take some notes from you guys, not like get a haircut or wear a different shirt. No, not those kinds of notes. Um, so A through G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yell out. I'm going to take three notes, so three random notes. Anybody? D? D, G, and A? Are we satisfied with these notes? Oh, we're going to do four notes? That's almost kind of easy. Well, I say that, right? So the idea is that I'm going to... I'm going to try. I'm going to try to improvise. Well, I guess I'm going to improvise something completely original, taking your your notes. Uh, so, are we going to go with those? Those are kind of. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's very musical theater. Someday I'm gonna make it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Why not? You know, I like the challenge. So I'm gonna do those four notes. I guess. But do you want it to sound major or minor? Did you say, did you, oh, I thought somebody combined both of them. It was like, manner, <laughs> major? <laughs> I don't know. So, said major? Good, because that does sound, that sounds pretty major. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just going to take those for now, because I don't want to kill myself with this. So, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to create an original piece in front of you guys using D, G, A, and C sharp in major, major, M mi minor, major? <laughs> okay.
kind of worked. Worked a little bit. It was very, it was a little musical theater, a little too, a little too musical theater. Like a lost piece from E.T. or something. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. I was trying to phone home. Okay, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the concert so far. I was really looking forward. I, I always look forward to that audience participation improvisation, which, by the way, try saying that just once. It's difficult to audience participation. So I've done that probably a handful of times across my career, and it's always, it's always fun for me. I hope it's fun for you guys, but I have no idea what's going to happen. My brain tells me to push these notes down, and sometimes I'm like, oh, that works. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish that didn't exist. So uh, I'm going to play one more final piece. Um, this is Chopin's Polonaise in A-flat major. Uh, it's classical. Um, but the, there's a story apparently behind, I believe it's this one and another piece of his, when he learned that um, Poland was being invaded by Russia back in the uh, mid-1800s. He was playing a gig. He was playing, I think, some, some background piano gig, which is weird to think of Chopin playing a background piano gig. He's such an amazing composer. And he busted out in this very, I guess, angry? It's or very uh, patriotic, I guess, to Poland, this piece. And so um, I believe the, um, one of the pieces was, yeah, it was another piece. But this is the one, uh, because it's a Polonaise, it's very patriotic to Poland. So it's also just one of the best pieces ever written for solo piano. So I thought I'd end on this piece. So uh, this is Chopin's Polonaise in A-flat major.
Thanks, everyone. Can we have one more round of applause for Tiago? We will be back here again next month, December 8th. All of the concerts this season are the second Thursday. Next month, we have Modern Afro-Cuban Night featuring saxophonist Carlos Averhoff. And then in January on the 12th, uh, we have the music of Bernstein and Sondheim featuring Brad Williams. And the shows go all of the way through May. Thanks for coming out, and we hope to see you again soon.